What's up, y'all? This is Joel of All Vapes coming at you with another awesome e-juice review. And please, if you will, gander on the Vape Cave. This is the new location that I'm going to be doing all my reviews from. A little bit more spacious, get you a little idea into the uh, the nerdliness that is Joe of All Vapes. I uh, got all my, my mods. got my coils from my awesome sponsor, Coil Killer, here. Got some of the juice that I've already reviewed, and that is going to be piling up. I got stacks of reviews coming for you in the future here, so stay tuned. First of all, we're going to be um, reviewing a company called The Huller. They're out of the Ozark Mountains. It's a family-run business out of Missouri. They make three signature brands, and they were cool enough to send me one of those brands for a specific review on Joe of All Vapes with yours truly. So stick around. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Joe of All Vapes. So, as I said, we're going to be reviewing a company called The Hauler out of the Ozark Mountains. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you the box that they sent me this in. Put my ego down there. And as you can see, got the hauler, their label on it. So we're going to open this bad boy up. Okay, once again, you got the logo on the inside flap. <laughs> this, is, um, this is what they send it in. And I really dig this. Get a little bit of a closer view here. See, once again, you got the Sun logo. So they send in these little collectible oak barrels. And the packaging here is really cool. I think it kind of looks like an old-fashioned, um, you know, something that you find like in an old Western movie that you watch with your grandfather when you were a kid. You know what I mean? Got the straw in the background. Kind of gives it a little bit of a rustic look, right? Really cool. So we're going to take this guy out. We're going to set the box aside and give you a little bit of a better look as to the, uh, the packaging of, uh, of the bottles. You can see the barrel has really good quality to it. Um, it's soft to the touch. It's been sanded. There's no gaps or seams anywhere on this guy. And on the top, you can see it has the labeling of the name of the flavor. Incidentally, Lonesome Drifter is the flavor of the juice that they sent me. And obviously, the six milligrams is the nicotine strength. So we're going to put that aside just for a second. I want to show you the flavor card that they sent me, which I thought was pretty cool. I like the train tracks, I like the trees in the background, kind of gives it a little bit of a rustic look to it, right? So we're going to flip this guy around. Actually, there's a wealth of information that they put on this thing. And as you can see on the top is the Lonesome Drifter. That's uh, the signature flavor that they sent us. Then you have Ramblin' Man. <laughs> I didn't memorize this, obviously. What I will tell you is that the basic description is, is that it's a combination and a blend of creamy flavors and, uh, and that it's aged in oak. So... Um, at first glance on the information that I've been given, the one thing I can honestly say, especially from the flavor cards point of view, it doesn't really get all that in depth with the flavors. If you're like me as a consumer, um, when I look into a new e-juice, I want to find something that are, you know, the particulars in the flavor itself. Does it have cinnamon? Does it have vanilla? You know, maybe some spices, creams, or, or anything, whatever your favorite all-day vape is. Just so I can pick and choose certain things out of there that I really dig, that I know Pretty much from the get-go, I can say at least a 60% average that I'm going to end up liking. This stuff, now, the cool thing is, I didn't even choose this flavor. They sent me this flavor. But I love creams. I love uh, dessert flavors, as you guys know. Um, so I was kind of excited about this. But yet, again, like I said, the description doesn't leave too much um, on the card itself to let you kind of get an in-depth um, understanding of the, the flavor profiles step-by-step point by point what goes into them. But we're going to explore that as we go further. So we're going to pop open this barrel. Cool little lid here. And check out the bottling. Is that not cool or what? So these come in 40 milliliter bottles. Um, incidentally, that's the only size that these guys come in. Um, you can see it, it, the bottle itself kind of looks like an old fashioned maple syrup bottle or, you know, like old moonshine or something like that. The label is really cool. It's a glossy label. And once again, you got their sun logo on there. Now this stuff is at six milligrams. Like I said, I usually like to vape at zero for, or three for the purpose of review. Um, but every now and then I'll, I'll switch it up just, you know, just to try something different and kind of see what the throat hit's going to be. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the percentage on this is, yep. 85 VG and 15 PG. Now, a little bit low on the PG, so I was kind of worried that the flavor was not going to be as strong as typically something like along the lines of an 80-20 or, you know, a 25-75. But 
Um, I was actually really, really surprised when I started vaping this stuff. And I've been actually vaping it for about two and a half, three days on my ego. Got the, uh, the air intake valve all the way up with a 0.5 coil. 0.5 coils um, are pretty much my favorite to work with. Good amount of vapor. And this guy actually puts out a decent amount of vapor. So... The one honest thing that I can say, cream, absolutely first thing that hits you. I mean, it just comes rushing it, packs right in the face. Um, it's a really sweet cream. It's reminiscent as if you were just to take like the creamiest type of Cool Whip and take a big old spoonful. You know, it kind of coats your mouth and gives you that sweet, uh, creamy aftertaste. This stuff has the exact same uh, uh, program going on right there. It, it, it actually lingers a really super pleasant aftertaste. Some of you might not like aftertaste of the e-juice that you use. Um, it doesn't really stick with you all day. If you're vaping it for a few hours, it won't last much longer than about an hour or two after that. But you can definitely taste it. It sort of has that kind of coated feeling to it. The taste, um, the, the texture, and the, and the flavor quality is really on par. I'm actually picking up certain flavor aspects, maybe cinnamon, maybe some butter, uh, maybe even one, two, maybe even three different types of vanilla in there. And I would even go as far as to say that maybe a little bit of a coffee or a whiskey flavor. Now, it is oak age, so obviously some of the oak flavor is going into that guy too. Really, really super pleasant vape. Even with, on my Ego, the, uh, the air intake valve open up all the way, um, it's still a warm vape. All in all, let's kind of wrap up this neat little package here. So you've got the aesthetics of the bottle. Really cool bottle, 40 milliliters. They obviously put a lot of time and effort and passion into the, um, the aesthetic fixture, uh, features of the packaging and uh, just the overall look of the theme that they were trying to come across with this. Kind of a rustic, woodsy kind of a look to it, and I think it really comes across well in this bottle. Okay, you've got the barrel that they sent with it. This is a collectible barrel, obviously. Um, I'll probably store batteries in there or something, but uh, I really, really love you got the little pull tab on the top. I dig that you got the flavor profile on the lid with a milligram nicotine uh, amount on that one. The little sun guy right here is kind of uh, stamped or etched in, and on the top, the label is actually burned in. So this is this itself is really, really cool. This is uh, very high quality along with the bottle itself, and I mean, even down to the packaging. So we'll kind of uh, we'll kind of reconstruct the packaging process right here. This is what you're going to open up when you when you get uh, anything from the hauler. And I think this is just massively high quality. Um, the the flavor itself when getting down to the nitty-gritty of it is is uh, superior to a lot of creamy flavors that I've tasted out on the market as far as um, e-juices are concerned with the, a similar uh, flavor profile. So um, pros and cons. If anything, the only con that I can possibly think of is that I would have liked to see more of a definitive description on the flavor profile as far as particular uh, things that went into the flavor. Yes, it is a creamy blend. Yes, it is aged in oak. And the one thing that they do tout on their flavor card is that they make all of their flavors in small batches. Now, what does that mean? Small batches means that you can control the quality of everything, all the ingredients that go into the juice. You can control whether or not it's going to steep, how long it's going to steep, where it's going to steep, temperature wise. And you can quality control basically is what it's all about. Everything much, much better. And um, I think they've really proven that in the quality of the vape. Great vapor production, great cloud. The flavor does not get sacrificed. And, um, and, and those, I think, uh, point out all the pros. So is it, like I said, as far as the cons were concerned, a um, little bit more information on the flavor profile into what goes into it. But on the other hand, reading it sort of definitely makes you want to think to yourself, man, I got to go out and buy this stuff now and try it because I got to find out what it's all about. So I'm definitely glad that they sent me this particular flavor. I think it's a great vape. I think it's a great all day vape. And it sort of makes you just want to kick back in your chair by the fire take a vape, sip a little hot cocoa, maybe read a book, you know, and listen to some, uh, some calming music or something like that, you know, next to your Christmas tree or something. It's, it's, um, it, it's definitely a pleasant vape. And I would definitely consider this one of my all, all day vapes, um, just because it's so close to the kind of stuff that I dig.
So that pretty much, in a nutshell, <coughs> wraps it up. Excuse me. Shoutouts. I want to give uh, quite a few shoutouts here. Well, three of them. First of all, uh, I want to give a shout out to my awesome sponsor, Coil Killer, uh, who makes me uh, my custom made, handmade coils. Awesome guy, and they're badass coils. I would definitely encourage you to go on to Instagram and check out Coil Killer and uh, give them a follow and give them some love. Uh, one more shout out going out to my newest sponsor. Kendo Vape Cotton, and they uh, these guys make a really high quality cotton wick. They were awesome enough to get a hold of me, and uh, we collaborated on a really good partnership. So we're going to be getting in some brand new cotton for some brand new builds over the first of the year, and I'm going to be revealing those builds to you. Got my vice here ready, so we're going to be uh, making some awesome stuff in the future. So stay tuned for that. Thirdly, I'd like to announce that I am now sponsoring a team. It's a team of um, a bunch of vapors out of Noblesville, Indiana. Really cool guys. Fish, I got a hold of, is actually the team captain. And um, I'd like you all to go on to Naptown Choochers, that's the team, uh, on Instagram, and uh, definitely give them a follow, give them a like, um, you know, and, and just tell them that Joe Vol Vape sent you. They're great guys, they're supporting me, I'm supporting them. And really, that's all that this is about, is a collaboration of uh, vapors coming together, supporting each other in the lifestyle that we love and making sure that it stays alive and continues to thrive, you know what I mean? So. Till then, this is Joe Vol Vapes. Really appreciate your viewership. I encourage you please to go on to YouTube at Joe Vol Vapes. Give me a subscribe. Facebook, give me a follow. And on Instagram at Joe of All Vapes underscore two. So, see you real soon. Coming up with another awesome review. Catch you later, Vapeheads.